Blah, blah, blah. It's got to do with fucking Prince Productions. Take off. Hey guys, this is Godzilla 2010. We have another Godzilla PC game update, and they've been going like crazy recently, so you know. I have to do a lot more work. Anyways, um, there, we got a look at the demo, and it looks amazing. Yeah. So, the barrier is definitely confirmed, um, from what I've seen. The game does have its own music, and it has some Godzilla themes in there too, which is great. And... Oh my gosh, the kaiju themselves looked amazing. Just amazing. The animation's great. The texture, detail, everything about the kaiju were great. Sound effects, spot on. The actual beams and stuff, spot on too. Everything just looked great about the kaiju themselves. And buildings. You can't have the classic, you know, explosion thing, but then when everything exploded, the buildings fall apart, and they actually have physics. Just legit physics. It's... It's... Oh my gosh, it's, it's great. Instead of just having a building fall down, like in our fighting games and stuff, they actually have physics, and interact with you, and fall down, the way you destroyed them. Physics! Now, when we saw from the actual like, gameplays and stuff earlier on before this, they just exploded and they were gone. But this one, they explode, and then the parts, just old pieces, you know, fall and stuff, and... Oh my gosh. Now, the graphics and everything else, besides the buildings and the kaiju. Because the buildings, they're not too bad, they're not as good as the kaiju, but they're fairly decent. Like the boats and jets and stuff, that's what I want to talk about. They look like they're from a PS2. They completely messed up on, the, like, tanks, ships, jets, everything. Well, the military. It just looks horrible. It looks like it's straight from a PS2 game. I'm not even joking. And the ground texture, it's you. It's just a flat thing, really. Like, okay. So they have... The walls and stuff, you know, all that. They have some mountains over here and there, and then you know, some new mountains. They have the buildings, you know, over in the water, whatever. But for it, if you get rid of all of that, it's just flat. It's just a box. So we're in a city, and you just came out of the water, you know, you have your water, and then it's just, it's just flat. And some buildings come up, you know, there's buildings there. And that's it. Of course, it's just completely flat. What happened? You see, like, the ground, completely flat. And the bushes, no, it's, it's 2D, it's flat. Trees, well, they're, they're not 2D, but still. At least they got the trees right. That's <laughs> generation's thing. When they step on the trees, it, they explode. We didn't get to see any trees get stepped on, though. So, you might explode, they might not. If they do, it's gonna be like, yes. But, you know, that's just... Yeah, you want to pay more attention to the kaiju and stuff. Because they look amazing. That's where all the attention and detail went in. As to the monsters themselves. Excuse me, you can just look at Godzilla. You can see him breathing. You can see, like, just fingers moving around. His eyes are just... He's, like, he's like looking around. You can see the eyes actually are moving. It's just, it's just like they have his model and all the moving arms around and stuff. Like, in the fighting games, you know, the entire trilogy. The eyes actually move. He's actually breathing. You can see the lungs expanding and stuff. Well, you can't actually see the lungs, but you can tell they're in there and doing something. Oh my gosh, it just looks great. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, sorry about that. Um, stuff happened, yeah. Um, so here's the thing. There's quite a few modes that you didn't tell us about. Well, not like a lot, but you know, like one or two. Whatever, I'm okay with surprises. Um, yeah, the opening menu looked pretty good. I like how they do it too. They actually have images from the movie sometimes. And sometimes it kind of like moves a little bit like a VHS tape. They... There needs to be a sequel. <laughs> they know what they're doing. Clearly, they've... <laughs> they've done the research. 
I'm just kind of speechless how much work they put in to make it just feel like you're watching a Godzilla film. And you know, like, oh my gosh, it just, yeah, it feels great. I have another Godzilla game, I'll do ever. Now, here's something kind of interesting. The campaign mode itself might actually have random encounters. So we get to see, like, a new stage, of course, you know, in the demo. And, you know, it's like the spawn, like, the Haysire or Godzilla fights spawn for, you know, Godzilla spawn for Battle for Earth. And, you know, Bachelor comes in, of course. And, yeah, you get to actually play in that area. Funny thing, when you destroy the first wheel, the wheel itself just starts rolling away. It's really funny. Um, yeah, anyways, while you're in, um, the, the video I watched from the demo, which is done by Gochi 93 I'll have a link in the description below if you didn't see it for whatever reason. Even an annotation, like, right on the text here. Um, yeah. So anyways, just... Gochi Godzilla 74 comes out of nowhere. And, yeah, you have to go in and fight him. And it seemed pretty, yeah, it seemed like a fight system you can definitely get used to. Um, so, yeah, now we know how the growth system works, it's kind of based on, um, yeah, it's, I guess, like, how much destruction you do and how much radiation you get. It's kind of like a score system that builds up to the amount, you know, how big you grow. And there's definitely, like, three levels or four levels. Um, Goji ran ahead his Godzilla up to like 60 meters or something. I think 67, maybe? So yeah, he was definitely getting it a lot bigger pretty quick. Um, yeah, so anyways. Um, later on, you know that spot where you fight King Ghidorah and like those other, like, veins we saw? King Ghidorah didn't show up there. Instead, there was Hedora. And he's like, wow, this really is like random encounters and stuff. And it really is, I'm. I'm down for that. I'm, I can... I'm good with that, you know? <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. We never really had a Godzilla game that had random encounters. At least tried to, but... Then again, it's Godzilla Unleashed. <laughs> I wasn't too good! Um, yeah. So, here's... Kind of... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm really saying here, but... but there's like a little bit of problem with the controls. They're a little weird. Um, Godzilla can do strafing. Okay, let me explain this in, like, PC form. So, let's say you're doing, like, you know, a game where you're in first-person perspective. Let's just say, like, Minecraft or something. You know, you have your mouse, you use that to look around, and use your arrow keys to actually physically move your character. So, let's say, um, now let's put this into PS3 terms. Your own R kind of stuff, I don't really know. Like, the right trigger, or whatever you call it, on these other controllers. I only know, like, Nintendo stuff for now. Um, use that, like, the basically move around. Like, you know, the move Godzilla's angle around, pretty much. Um, so it's kind of like what your mouse is for a first person perspective thing. And then, the move, um, Godzilla, of course, you need to use, um, the joystick. Move around, of course. Makes sense. So it's like using your arrow keys. So they put it in a first person kind of perspective of how you move him, but they're not in first person perspective. Unless it's an option in the camera things, because they have a lot of camera angle options apparently. There's like four of them. So that's kind of cool. If you can be in first person perspective, that'd be pretty cool. Um, yeah, so here's the thing. I was completely wrong about like what the temperature thing means. Besides, you know, you can turn the red and got so if you get high enough. It's actually your energy bar. So I don't have every energy, but you could use it a lot more than in fighting games. But if that bar goes down enough and you can't use your tonk breath, I think it takes the entire two bars to do a nuclear pulse. So, um, that's kind of how it works. And for the health system, there really is no health bar from what we saw. You just know when you're, when you're getting near death. As the screen like kind of turns red, starts blinking red, whatever it is. So I guess that's how you know. And also, the game difficulty doesn't seem to be too high because Gochi ran out on hard, and he never got the red screen at all. So apparently, the game's not too hard. Yeah, that's kind of odd though because when the people, having people like test out the bosses, they're saying they were having like a lot of trouble and stuff. It's like, oh great, is this game gonna be hard? 
Let's see, go through and play the demo on hard. And there's, he's having no problem with it. It's kind of like, what's the difficulty of this game? <laughs> what's the definite difficulty here? Because I can't figure it out quite at all, actually. <laughs> I'm just confused. Um, so, we got to see all sorts of stuff. The demo didn't have tons. But really, it has like a little monster guide option, actually, which is pretty interesting. You know, I can't wait to see what Ben and Namco got out of the research. You know, what they figured out about these kaiju and all of that. So it's that would be interesting. Um, there's a way to take screenshots, apparently. And, like, the cinematic mode, you can be in there for apparently like, a couple seconds and then it takes, like, a screenshot or something. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna stuck the record camera mode because that probably wasn't too bad. So, they're definitely trying some new stuff here. The controls are a little bit, you know, weird, but when my Goji friend said you get used to them and I'll trust them with that kind of stuff. And, you know, these kind of things you learn from having other people, like actual people, play it, you know, and commentate over it. Instead of seeing a trailer or some guy at a convention playing it, you actually have a guy sit down, record it, and talk personally to the viewers about what he's experiencing with the game. You know, but definitely helps out a lot. And I still think the game is great. I'm still, you know, on a PS3 even more now. This is. Yeah, this looks pretty good. This might beat Save the Earth, which is you know, the best Godzilla game. See, I'm not like most people, where I have my personal favorites, and I have the games I know are better than my personal favorites. I think, like, the best Godzilla game overall is Godzilla Save the Earth, you know, before this comes out. I just probably beat it. My personal favorite is Kaichu Gujira. And a lot of people don't know what that is, so, you know, I'm not gonna talk about it too much. But yeah. So, I'm willing to admit that Save the Earth is better than Kaichu Gujira, but Kaichu Gujira has a meaning to me, so that's why it's my favorite. But whatever. That's another discussion for, you know, another video. But yeah. You know, we got to see a lot more. The animations on the kaiju look great. The models look great. Everything looks really good. And apparently, um, kaiju are based on height class. So, like, 50 meter class kind of stuff you're going to be fighting in a demo, mainly in the beginning, you know, of your campaign. And, yeah, it's so, like 50 meter stuff and 80 meter from what you've seen from, like, the trailers and gameplay videos sent out by Nam kind of you know, Bandai Namco. And it's more like a 100 meter scale, you know, like class. So, yeah, the, that's interesting. Um, I guess it's kind of based off how tall is your Godzilla. And they compare, like, okay, how is it, tall is this kaiju compared to a 50 meter Godzilla? And so, if Godzilla is 80 meters, how tall this kaiju can be? It's a, that's how I'm seeing it. You know, it's. It's definitely something new. They're trying a lot of stuff with this. They're trying a lot of new things, which I'm very happy about. And I'll support that. You know, but some of the stuff I'm kind of like, okay, let's try it. I'm a little iffy on. <laughs> um, I'm kind of like, okay, I guess. That's, you know, some stuff I'm kind of like, why? I don't know. I'm a little skeptical about it. But, you know, it's good to try new things. And. Yeah, this probably will be it for the update videos. I'm pretty sure this will be the final one. Um, yeah, what is the calendar? I don't, I don't have it up here. It's on my other screen. Okay, whatever. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. You know, if you have anything you want to say that I forgot to mention, do tell me, you know, in the comments below, all of that. If you have any questions, I'll feel free to ask them, I can probably answer them, since I know quite a bit about the game because I've been doing all the speculation and analyzing and all of that. But you know, anyways, yeah, I'm ready just to play the game. <laughs> yeah, I'm just excited for it. So, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys later. Play this game.